Sorry, hello. My name is Prue, or Prue LaRue. Sorry, it's been a while since I pulled the fan out. Anyway, I have something super exciting to share with you guys today. I bought the... Well, this The other side has, like, all my dress details on it, so no. <laughs> this is a box, and I bought the Coloured Rain Mystery Box. It was $35 US dollars and $14.50 US shipping, equaling about $50 US, which was about $70 Australian. It took two weeks to get here. It only just got here yesterday. So I have been dying to play with it and open it and share it all with you guys. I have a problem with mystery boxes. Um, I, I could even... Have I bought enough mystery boxes to create a playlist? There's like five, five mystery box videos. Anyway, I really enjoy mystery boxes and when I favorite mystery box I've received so far has been from Super Beauty which is another indie brand so I'm super excited to see what Colored Rain send you through. I think it's like 150 worth of product. Beautifully sort of packaged up like this and I know that they include palettes. Colored Rain is a brand I have the Queen of Hearts palette and the Very Cute. And oh my god I'm so excited. I was just talking to one of my friends on Instagram the other day and she was telling me about Curve tweezers. I said I've got some but mine are actually plastic and she was saying how amazing these are for putting on false lashes. Oh they're held together. Interesting. So I now have like an official coloured rain set and this is actually something that I've just secretly been wanting for a long time. I know coloured rain. How did you know? I didn't even know they sold them. So it looks like we've got a lot of lip stuff but we do have a pair of lashes. No, I haven't seen the colours. Alright, so there's a set of lashes. Premium Silk Lash. Natural and Synthetic Fibres. So I actually never really wear lashes. I'm just really bad at putting them on. Um, and every time I put them on, they've messed up my eye look. And I've had to start again. And my eyes hurt. Uh, but these look like beautiful for lashes. Let's... I get confused when people talk about lashes and they're like, Oh, that's very, n like, neutral. That looks quite thick, doesn't it? Tell me if they're... Can you please tell me if they're nice lashes, if you're a lash-wearing person? And I actually love how compact this container is. I do have other false lashes, and they're just... Like, the containers are huge. So, I think let's do the powdered products, and then I'll move into lip products. So, I've got an eyeshadow. Oh, I have the eyeshadow brick. Is this just like a single? Is this their packaging for singles? Wow. So I have like a real thing for packaging for singles. I don't know, I'm just always like super curious what colours people choose. So it's the shade Brick. Um, which is a brown. Yay. Maybe we might as well swatch it, I guess. I'm sure it's beautiful. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just going to leave it in its packaging for now. Not that excited about brown. We've got this box. Is it a luxurious green? Oh, pressed highlighter. Fancy. It's so weird getting other things from a brand that I know quite well for their eyeshadows. And like being like, oh, this is how you guys package that. Because that's pretty. I love I love shiny stuff. Alright, what do they do? Hmm. Nice compact. Alright, so this is luxurious bling. And that's it on my finger. Oh yeah, that's nice. Can you even see it? Oh, this is why I hate swatching. Right, let's just do the back of the hand. It's like right there. There it is. Um, yeah. It's nice. Oh yeah, there we go. It's nice in certain lights. It's very like nice and subdued. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't didn't really expect that from Coloured Rain, but I'm not complaining. I think I will really enjoy that highlighter. Then I'm so excited. I was actually really worried. I saw someone did receive the very cute eyeshadow palette, and I was like, no, I, like I don't want the same palette. But I've got Smoke Show, and I feel like I got like the neutral box, but it's still beautiful. Let's just swatch. I want to swatch Showtime. That's like the only colour that's calling to me in this palette. Like, is that it? 
interesting. I think I'll definitely like have a play with this one. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that swatch just initially put me off because I know they do swatch quite nicely. I think. Here is very cute. This is very cute, which I already own. I guess it's a bit more of my jam. Let's just swatch Purpleberry. Which is a shade here. Alright. Okay, so the swatching is about the same. Alright, great. I'm more excited. I, I just, I know how these perform on the eyes and they're it's really beautiful. So that makes me excited to use Smoke Show. And I'm not like super pumped about the colour story, but I may fall in love with it once it's on my eyes. And then we have the lip, lip products. So I've got, what are these? Matte Lip Paint, Matte Lip Paint Boss Babe. Oh, those are the shades. What's this one? Metallic Matte Lip in Jade. All right, I'm actually kind of like in love with this packaging. So we've got some liquid lips and we got some bullets. Voila. These are the shades and I might as well give them all a try. I'm going to start off with the bullets because they're just easier to get off. So one of the big things I love about mystery boxes is you get such a nice sampling of products from a brand that you may not have really tried. Because I, to be honest, I wouldn't have bought any of this from Coloured Rain. Uh, just because eyeshadow is like, I'm such an eyeshadow fiend that they're like the only thing that excite me. So for me, mystery boxes are worth it because it makes me like try other products from brands that I love and expands my horizons on other things I may love without knowing it. Like I may love Smoke Show. I'm not, I'm just not sure yet. I had to put a Jeffree Star lip on just before this, didn't I? All right, so starting off, we're going in with empathy. Will this make more, more empathetic to people? I don't know. Yeah, like this is a nice color. It's actually not that much different from the color I just had on. Neutral, creamy. It's definitely got like that, a bit of a strong lip scent, lipstick smell, which I'm not mad at. Um, Reminds me of the, the Colourpop ones. So I wonder how much these are a piece then. Alright, so they're saying that the lipsticks are $17. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, $17. I mean, like, it's not... They're not terrible. But I just actually, will, from looking on the website then, though you can still buy this mystery box. So, so far I... I think I'd recommend it, even if you are uh, shipping internationally. Because really, fourteen fifty for shipping here is like crazy. So we've got social art, which looks like a like lighter nude. Oh, I'm kind of like okay about it. I'm sorry. This is also where I need your opinion on lip colors. Because I'm just really bad sometimes. I feel like this is like Barbie lips. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? Or is it just me? Next up we've got Bordeaux. Yeah, I did find the shipping. Like being fourteen fifty, They posted through USPS. Which is kind of cool. Ooh. Alright. Final like, What is this colour? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, interesting. You know, I never would have noticed this before the Jaclyn Hill drama. Can you see this little hair? It's hanging out here. Yeah, see that hair there? Weird. Yeah, I like never would have in ever noticed this. And it's got those little beads of oil. The hair is just lightly on it, so I've just tweezed it off. Um I say I'm happy to use it. Let me know, does the hair on a lipstick is that like is that off putting for you?
Or the little beads. Is that enough? I feel like with Jacqueline, it was in so many of her lipsticks that made me wary. Um, but I don't know. Should I camel? I struggle with caring too much. Um, because it looked clean. It looked yeah. I was just on the outside. And I think so much of my stuff has cat hair on it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's cat hair. Anyway, I actually kind of really, really dig this dark vampy lip. I feel like I don't have enough of these colors. I have a lot of the other colors, so I'm excited. All right, and now we get to try the liquids. All right, I just had to top up the foundation. Do a little lip scrub on my Frank body stuff. Uh, so let's start with green and jade. I'll say straight off the back, the packaging for this feels really cheap. Um, but it's cute. I think, I think we got hit by a bit of heat, maybe. Um, so I live in Brisbane, Queensland, and it does get hot here sometimes. So the formula is really runny. I just had like a bit of, a bit of movement. Um, but damn, I'm pretty much in love with that shade. I know exactly what I can do with it. Look at it. I love it. I think once I figure out the form there, it'll be a bit better. You can see I got some pooling down there and just the way I put it up the top. Before it dries, I'm going to go down, but I will, I will absolutely wear these again. All right. So we've got Boss Babe. I thought this was going to be metallic, but it looks like it's just a purple. Yeah, this is definitely like a Boss Babe shade. The green is still there a little bit. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be darker. But this is a super fun shade. I'm okay with it. It's definitely more wearable than I thought it was going to be. So it's pretty good. Alright, and lucky last, Spiked Punch. I think I absolutely can wear this lip color. So I'm gonna wear this lip color today. I will put down in the description about how it will for you. Let's just dry it off a little bit. Anyway, that is my mystery box. That is all the shades I got in it. Oh, actually, let's put. I do have some of ColourPop over the moon highlighter on. But let's put a little bit of this highlighter on just to see. So you can still actually buy this mystery box. Okay, damn, yeah. I love this on. I don't know if you can see it, but it gave such like an extra, extra glow. Highlighter is a win. So let me know what you think about the hair thing. I really struggle sometimes to like really give a shit about some of these things. Just because I, I don't. I think I don't have high hopes for companies, um, which I mean, maybe I should have higher hopes for companies. Um, but I think my expectations for brands are relatively low. I don't know. I feel like with the Jaclyn Hill ones where it went too far was when people were finding like other stuff in it besides like hair, but even the hair was pretty weird. But then I just found a hair on that. But I 100% know I would have never noticed that beforehand. I would have just used it and ignored it. So, I don't know. Does that make me like a dirty human being? Should I be caring more? And like I just had this experience with Mecca buying one of the NARS shadows online. I wonder if it's around here. It is somewhere. I don't know. It's, it's really small. But I just, I'll put a picture up. I bought a pic, Um, I bought a NARS shadow and the, just the box seemed super old so I was really curious I looked up the batch code and well like I said it's made three years ago I contacted Mecca and they told me like oh companies don't release their batch codes so there's no way that you can find that information and that it was part of the discontinuing sale but I actually didn't realize it was a discontinuing sale so I don't know it's sort of like what do I expect the company to do about that um I mean I'm relatively happy I got the shadow that I did it was definitely an impulse purchase so I blame myself for buying it because I probably wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't been like pretty Nas 
so because of that I'm not super invested in it it's not something I was like super excited for like oh my god I can't wait to have this thing so I don't know I mean that sounds horrible doesn't it but um yeah I do think companies should tell us when it is a discontinued sale it shouldn't be like a surprise hair on the lipstick I could ignore maybe once or twice should I be more diligent about that and demand a refund from the man but it's a mystery box and technically I throw it out and I still probably made back what I spent. I don't know. And it didn't seem embedded in there. It was just on the out, like, it was very lightly on the outside. Anyway, would love your thoughts on those things. Let me know if you're going to pick up the mystery box. I'm kind of excited. You still can. That's pretty cool. I do think it's worth giving a whirl. It's a good foray into Coloured Rain if you've not been there before. I think you won't be disappointed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.